Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. On the uh, chopping block today, we've got something rather unique. Now, my brother used to be really into these games. Uh, he used to play a lot of them on the PC way back in the day. I don't think I ever tried them. Of course, I am talking about Army Men. This is Army Men Land, Sea and Air, which I bought a couple of years ago now, and I paid the princely sum of £1.50. From a charity shop, I believe. Um, now, I do remember that a lot of people really like these games. I don't think I ever played them. I mean, I do fondly remember the uh, little green army men from being a kid. I used to have loads and loads of them. I used to be able to get them so cheap. Um, I don't think we ever actually used them for anything, apart from burning them, blowing them up, and that kind of stuff. But, you know, they, they were kind of a toy from the era. Uh, excuse me, laptop. Be quiet, thank you. So this one is going to be quite interesting. I think this one is a slightly later release. This is Three Theatres of War, Land, Sea and Air. The enemy Tan Army, the Tan Army, I like that, is once again mobilising all over the world and is preparing for an all-out invasion on the green territories from all fronts. Your green squad has been dispatched to various parts of the world to quelch the Tan's plans. You have all the green forces at your disposal, when it, whether it be on land, sea or air. It's real combat, plastic men. Three different types of battle terrain. Wage war in the evil Tan army through ground combat with lethal forces from the sea and the air. New assault vehicles. Open fire using a helicopter, bomber, assault raft and battle carrier. Each with a swarm of devastating weapons. More intense combat sites. Three different campaigns take you to different parts of the world. Jungle, sea and the mountains. Very interesting. Hmm. And of course... There was Army Men Air Attack 2 and Sarge's Heroes 2. I remember my brother playing Sar uh, Sarge's Heroes quite vividly. And there we go. Coming soon on the manual there. Um, black and white manual, which is a little bit disappointing. Again, there's a lot of information here. But I'm sure we're going to find that out as we play. The disc is quite nice as well. It's quite a nice picture disc. Looks black and white on the camera, but... It's actually kind of like a weird cyan colour in IRL. Anyway, let's pop the disc in and see what it's like. As always, we're going to give the game a fair shake. If I think it sucks, I will say it sucks. If not, then uh, I will say it's a good fucking game because that's what we do around these parts. Oh, if that sound doesn't bring me joy. Now, I know um, some people don't like the borders that I use um, for my games. Uh, one of you actually said it was a bit busy for your liking, which is a fair compliment, I think. Or fair bit of feedback. Uh, I will revise them at some point. And let me just change the aspect ratio of this because I've just recorded something else. Should have had my keyboard closer. Um, 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 um. So let's go to properties. We want computer the video. There we go. We want that. And let's change that to something a little bit more accurate. There we go. That is much more accurate. Let's add the frame. Right. Let's have a look. So we have English, Francis, Deutsch, Italiano and Hispano. Let's go for English. Green Plastic News. I've never played one of these. Green Plastic News. Let me change my aspect ratio on my TV. A few days ago, we were suddenly and deliberately attacked by Tan forces. The Tan had deliberate intentions and an aggressive battle plan. We have had our confrontations in the past, but at the time of the attack, 
We were in the middle of peace talks with the Tan huh. Nation. After just a few days of battle, the Tan armies had experienced stunning victories on all Damn. sides. If we can stand up to the Tan, all of greed may be free, and our way of life may move forward into broad, sunlit uplands. But if we fail, then the whole world will sink into the abyss of a new dark age made more sinister by the tan destructive world. Damn, that's quite heavy. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duties. We shall not be caught asleep. We shall find ourselves in need of a resolution of this catastrophic turn of events. They have decided to take the battle abroad. We shall meet them on all fronts. Returning force with force, whether it be by land, sea, or air. Damn, there's a lot of, like, soldiers burning. And yes, I get it. They're only plastic toys. But still, that's pretty graphic. So we've got boot camp. Um, let's go for... Why is my aspect ratio on my TV not changing? I want it authentic, god damn it. I said authentic. There we go, normal. That'll do it. Um, let's go for... Let's... Private Green, let's go for boot camp. Let's have a little look, shall we? Get familiar with our controls. Walk up to signs for instructions, okay? Oh, here's me trying to use the analog stick. Ooh, the way it controls is a bit funky. Very stiff, as you would imagine. Can we strafe? Oh, no, but we can go into like a... Okay. I don't think it's aged overly well, but whatever. It's... Right, welcome to boot camp. This course assumes that you have chosen controller config one, but if you've changed it in the option screens, you'll have to remember the buttons. Okay, a few basic procedures to nil. Push the R2 button and the down... Okay. Go prone. Yeah. To roll in any direction, hold the L2 button and the direct okay. When you're finished with boot camp, hit the hit oh quit to go back to the main menu. Okay. So looks like we have unlimited ammo, which is nice. So there's Okay, that you know, actually that doesn't work too badly, to be fair. And to roll. Oh okay. Yeah, that works. Right, let's go. Let's go see what we can see, shall we? This is actually running on a PlayStation 1. This is the rifle range. To fire your rifle, push the X button. For fine aiming, push R1. Now you can aim up and down, left and right, with greater accuracy. Oh, you can lean around corners? That's interesting. Okay, cool. Okay, I mean, there's pretty much as you'd expect. Nothing too surprising there. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's see what other equipment we have to use. No um, music, though. That's kind of strange. This is the mortar range. Holy shit. To fire a mortar, push and hold the X button. A cursor will move between the limit of the mortar's range and back to you. It will continue to move back and forth until we release X button. Okay, do we actually have a mortar? Yeah, 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 we know. How do we use a mortar? Oh, that's binoculars. Oh, that's the bayonet. And that's the rifle. Okay, I don't know how we use a mortar. Or even where there is a mortar. Interesting. You know, we'll probably figure it out. I mean, how hard could it possibly be? This is the bazooka range. Yeah, this is cool, but where's, like, the bazooka to actually use in the range? Is there something that I'm missing here? The answer to that is probably. Oh, I see. There we go. Whoa, holy shit, that's cool. Hang on. So we can like duck down, I guess? All right, I mean, that's that works 
fairly well, I suppose. Fairly self-explanatory. So we've used the bazooka. Let's try the mortar again, because I figure we're probably going to have to get fairly good with the mortar. Sounds like it's going to be a good weapon. Now, if I was a mortar... Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. You only get three. Right. Oh... Okay. Actually, fire pretty quickly. The effects of the mortar, actually, for the PlayStation 1, are not too shabby, to be honest. Alright, what else have we got here? So, what is that? That's what we've already done, bazooka range. Yeah, yeah, we've done that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. Now, I don't know who made these games. Perhaps we'll have a look at the box in a minute. So, what's this? Grenade range. Definitely going to want to know how to use the grenades. I don't know why it keeps telling us. I don't know why we were spamming forwards there either. All right, let's grab up some nades. So, just like the bazooka, really. Again, like the explosions. The explosions look pretty cool. I'm impressed with that. Now, let's see what else we have. What other toys do we have to play with? This is the explosive range. To place explosives down, push the X button. You only have about eight seconds. Only about eight seconds. Damn. All right, well, let's stick that there. Ah, oh, fuck nuggets. Run. Run. Okay, it said about eight seconds. Oh, I recognize that sound effect from uh, Command and Conquer. Okay, that's cool. Oh. Is this a flamethrower? I get the feeling this is a flamethrower. So we can only pick up like a hundred units of anything. Um, oh, I like that. Flame for a push and hold the X button. All right. We can burn trees. That's quite nice. Don't get a lot of flamethrower fuel, though. That's probably one of the coolest flamethrowers that I've uh, seen on the uh, original PlayStation. Let's see if we can burn the tents. Can't burn the tents, sadly. Ah, oh, I am disappointed. Yeah, so we are actually running this on an actual PlayStation 1. What's that? Combat range. Move through the course and make uh, and take out the tan turrets. Get the flag at the end to graduate from boot camp. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. The tan soldiers are very hard to see. Oh, I see. Look, our health is actually being chipped away at. Like little pieces of plastic. That's quite cool. And we're dead. Damn, we got hosed. All right, let's just quit boot camp. Sod up. We know what we're doing. Yes. I say we know what we're doing, optimistically. Um, we don't really. Let's go for a new game. And one second, guys. I'm going to be right back. And sorry about that, guys. Right, we're back. Let's continue. Let's go to a new game. Yeah, we're going to be private green. That's fine. All right, men. Get to the train station. Secure the area. Uh, okay. So just straight in at it, then. Wow. It's very hard to actually make anything out. I'm guessing this is one of those games that was probably much better on the PC where you could actually see what you're doing. But, visuals aside, let's give it a fair shout. Nice. I wonder if we could like command our men or anything. I don't know. Let's keep going. 
Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Alright, let's go for it. Fuck you, you tanny bastards. Now we do have nades as well. What do we have? We've got nades. And the rifle. Okay, so we don't have like any health or anything. I like the way when we attack stuff, our guys do move up. That is quite cool. In fact, that's really cool. The frame rate is taking a bit of a dive here, though. Nice. Actually, this game would probably be a lot nicer on an emulator. To be honest. We'd sharpen it up and bring the details out. Or maybe even a PlayStation 2. Alright, careful. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you there. We're getting... Oh, we're dead. Man, we had our legs blown off. Ah, oh, so you only get one life. I was wondering. Yeah, and then you got to restart. Okay, so this is going to be like quite the tactical game, I think. So how do we do... There we go. Okay. So we can do that. So I think we can only aim... If we're standing up, I think. Let's try that again. Yeah, we. Yeah, because if we're not standing up. Let's try that again. I don't know, we can aim from this position, that's cool. This is a lot more tactical than I thought it was going to be. Right, you're down, Sonny Jim. Alright, not bad, men, not bad. Uh, your men actually seem like they are doing things as well. They're not just grunts that are standing there. Which is also quite nice. Well, we just got bits of Johnny all over us. Johnny! We'll remember you! Come on, you tan bastards! Suck my rifle. Oh no. Our dudes are dead. Ah oh, man. Little plastic men that are not going to go home to mummy. Uh oh. Oh shit. Alright, let's go down. Let's get some nades into the action. Oh, nice. Oh. Hey, this game and again I know we're only plastic men but this game's quite brutal I know this game's got like quite the cult following which is nice as well oh I like that like we can't exactly strafe but we do have oh we're getting hit not sure what by though though our men are moving up so let's go. Let's see if we can flank round. Looks like enemies are flagged up as well, which is cool. But it's just very stiff and slow to turn around. I don't know... Uh, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure what was going on there. We appear to have glitched into the wall and we couldn't fire our gun. Um, or was it because we had the bayonet out? Could have been because we had the bayonet out, to be fair. You don't have a lot of health. So that's something to bear in mind. Right, let's take these guys out. They're dead. Oh, did I just kill my own dude? I may have. That was unfortunate. Yeah, we have a frame rate that's in the single digits right here. Definitely in the single digits. Come on. Come on. Can't quite get this guy. There we go. He's down. He's down. Yeah, this is quite a hardcore fucking game, man. It's quite lethal as well. Right, man. Down. Just got hit there. Sons of bitches. Get down, Johnny. Remember your training, man. And you will be going home. 
Alright, not bad. At least you got like unlimited ammo. I mean that's just that's quite cool. I'm curious is to see if this was like the first of its type on the PlayStation. You're dead. I mean luckily the enemies don't take many shots either, which is nice. No, it looks like our guys are moving up. I want to try and flank around the side again, but we don't have a lot of health ourselves. Uh oh, get down, get down. Yep. Yeah. Got to try and remember to to go prone. You've got to click down and L1 at the same time. Now, because of the graphics, I can't actually make out where the enemies are. Which ain't great. Right, there's another guy dead there. Ah, hello. I see ya. I see ya, boy. You're done. Don't know if they can hit us under here. I'm not sure what the hitboxes are like. But our health is pretty pants. Come on. Let's see that head of yours. I'm guessing we can't actually hit anything from here. Oh, look at this. Okay, I guess we're safing up here. Let's get some grenades out, shall we? Alright, let's get a nade out there. Come on. Okay, that didn't actually do much, if anything. Let's try that again. Oh shit. No, 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 no. That's bayonet. Ah, fuck it. Alright. Man, it it's so tricky to control. Because you can see how slow it is to turn. And then to go down, you have to push. Yeah, it's just weird that you... I think it's one of those games that you get used to. Like, it hasn't aged very well. But again, it's one of these games that, kind of like Lilo and Stitch that we played earlier, is hamstrung by its controls. But 3D gaming was pretty new when this came out. These were new, interesting times. Okay, we're good. Let's go, boys! Let's go! Charge! I'd be happy if we can just get past the first level. Oh my god. No. Roll. 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 Oh, we can roll backwards. That's nice. And we can roll forwards. Which is actually very nice as well. None of this analog aiming that you've uh, heard so much about on your other fancy systems. Oh, don't actually say analog control supported. Yeah, here we go. We've got analog support now. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, that's quite interesting having the analog there. That feels a lot more natural. Which is ironic. Because it would have been very new and fancy at the time. Okay, we got him. Yeah, because of the graphics, it's so hard to see the enemies. Really hard to see where they are. Alright, let's try and do this normally. You're done, son. Now, we've got these other tan troopers. Let's move up. Okay. There you are. Fuck you, buddy. We're injured. Can't quite see this guy. Let's see if we can get a nade over there. We can. Nice. Okay, so you can actually get grenades up and over. Although. Oh, fuck. That grenade went next to us, I think. I think it did. Now, can we get one over there? Nope. That grenade landed next to us as well. Run. Alright. So I think we're just going to have to do this old school. Where are you? I can't even see the enemies. There they are. 
Yeah, this game needs higher... Oh, no, I just threw a grenade. Sorry, guys! I think I just killed my own guy. Right, let's see if we can go around the corner. Trying to get an angle on someone is not easy in this. Oh, hello. Can we just chip away at this guy from around the corner? Hey, buddy. Have some bullets. Have some bullets in your face. Uh, that would be no. I don't think you can. Damn, we're getting hurt. And I think med kits are something that's going to be a luxury. It's definitely a luxury that we don't have. Can't see anyone. But they are shooting us. Alright, you're dead. Who's next? Is that an enemy? Okay, I think we're clear. Um, dip, 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 did we win? Oh, look, look at the little jeep. Okay, so I'm hoping we got a checkpoint there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Cinematics. Oh my god, this, this, this game is weird. These have, like, quite the cult following, but... Good work, men, but the train got away. Uh, certainly did. Mission complete. So we can save or we can continue without saving. Well, let's continue without saving. Who cares? Uh, um, like, we're not controlling any of this. Oh, fuck, now we are. We need to stop that train. Take this jeep and intercept it at the bridge. Okay. Uh, okay, so, ah, bollocks. We've got tan soldiers. Well, we're not driving this. But we are getting hit. At least this gun is quite vicious. Yeah, I'm not controlling this at all. This is like an on-rail shooter bit. Which is fine. But the controls are not helping. Oh, man. Okay, we are quite injured. I'm hoping this uh, is giving us like a little bit of armor. No wonder the Fucking greens are getting their asses handed to them. None of them have a lot of dexterity by the looks of things. Look at this. This is cool. This is a slaughter. Look at all the particle effects. That's actually really impressive. And we can destroy the sandbags. I think. I'm not sure. No, I don't think we can. I think that was a rock, not a sandbag. Like, I can't even tell what anything is. You've got to have as much imagination um, playing this game as you did way back when, actually playing with the actual toy figurines. Is that like another dude? Oh, we've got some grenades, I think. Oh, now... Now we're on foot? What? Um... Uh... Do we throw... Grenades? Like... It, it just like... It just kicked us out. Do we destroy the bridge? Like... Um... Okay, I have no idea what we're meant to do. I guess we failed the mission. Yeah, because we can't do anything or go anywhere now. We're supposed to intercept it at the bridge, but we failed. Failed quite royally. Alright, well. 
We're gonna charge. And we're gonna get... Oh, oh! Blow the bridge before the train crosses. Set the charges at the base. Okay. I think I can do that. No guarantees. Run! Run, you fool! Run! Let's get the fuck out of here. Private pile! Oh, God. Oh. I think we did it. Just. Well, the train up. Good work, soldier. I'm guessing these games are like budget. Ah, bloody thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we check out the next level. This game's kind of weird, though. I, d I don't know, man. Like, I think if I had this back in the day, I'd be very disappointed. Get up to the train and destroy the cannon car only. All right. Think we can do that? You're dead. Well, at least you don't always have to aim. Ah. Foolish. Right, what do we have? We've got binoculars and still just the rifle. They're coming out of the trees, man. They're coming out of the trees. Oh, boy. This is not going well. Right, he's gone. Nice. Yeah, we're about to die. Oh, fuck, he's getting up again. You failed. There were tan war plans aboard that we needed. Hmm. Yeah, this is hard. This is like Dark Souls level hard. Well, actually, no. Come on. There we go. Yeah, you're, like, you're constantly fighting the controls. I think... Like this kid. Yeah. Well, I think that's quite enough of that. Um, there's a lot of potential there with that. With it, I think if the controls were tighter, it would be quite an enjoyable game. Like I like how hardcore, hardcore it is. I like um. I like how. It's quite realistic in a way, and it's quite slow and weighty. And you've got all the different prones, and, and I don't know, it's fun. The levels are short and sweet, at least so far. But the graphics make it really hard to see what's going on. What doesn't help is the color palette. The enemies don't stick out. Yes, they're soldiers, I get it. But it's a video game, and uh, to that end, it's it's really really quite hard to play i think on a pc with a higher resolution and smoother textures it pr and frame rate my god this game is running like a slideshow i think it could have been quite interesting i'm guessing these were budget games it would have been nice to see some of the vehicles but i mean i guess we saw a jeep and that was kind of ass it wasn't anything like i'd imagine it to be honest i think as this series went on I think it got significantly better. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that there. That's uh, This is kind of like up to you what you think of it. I don't think this is that good, to be honest. Maybe there are people that have very fond memories of this one. Maybe the other ones, as I said, are better. I'm not sure. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.